Evening everyone, welcome back to Phasmophobia. So it's new day, we have new tasks. Only three of them this time. Discover the ghost type, capture a three star f ghost photo, and find the bone. Three times. Photo's the tricky one, we always have trouble getting photos. Let's go ahead, do some... How about a Grafton? We're going in on a variant of Nightmare, where we only have two evidence types. But the breaker starts on, and we have the sanity board. I find that that's more fun. Because we have only two evidence types, we won't be able to know the ghost for certain, just from getting evidence. We have to narrow it down, and then infer the ghost based on its behavior. Not, not, that. Let's see. Okay. Eric Emmett. Escape the ghost. Witness a ghost event. And find evidence of the paranormal with an EMF. So, first thing we do when we get in is look for hiding spots, look for the item, look for the ghost room, and look for the breaker and the bone. So the first thing we do is actually do five things, or six things. So, it's not cards. It wasn't a music box. This is not a hiding spot. Our thermo is useless until it calibrates to room temperature, which is 20 degrees right now. Not a breaker. Not a hiding spot. We hit 20 degrees, so now any drop from that is suggestive that the ghost has walked through. Here we are. Ghost is in the main room. Um, ghost is here. Yep. And it's been wandering around a bit, so it dropped that a couple of degrees. Let me keep that with me. We still want to look around and find some things if we can. This thing is gone, so no hiding spot there. We have lockers. No summoning circle. And this is not where the breaker is either. But it is a way to hide, if we need one. Although, if we do get up to this point, we'll probably just hide right there behind the chair. No doll. There's the, the, um, the bone. So if we're over here and the ghost is hunting, we go up the stairs, hide behind the chair. If we're downstairs, what's the plan? Do you have something over here? This is an okay plan. We can make that work if we need to. But going back here might be better. I mean, even without being able to hide behind the boxes, just being able to get back to this room is pretty good. So we have a Ouija board. We won't use that yet at the moment, but we can use that to drop our sanity if we need. I will put the light on in here as an escape route. Okay, so up the stairs, over there. Item is the Ouija board. Ghost is right here. Let's bring some more evidence collection items in. How's our sanity? Oh, we're pretty good, so no sanity shenanigans going on. Like a gin dropping it, uh, or a ure, whatever. Ghost was pretty quiet. I heard it flash the lights. I think I th heard an item move around once. 
We have orbs right there. Did I just hear a ghost knock on the window? Because I love it when they knock on the window. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can get a UV off that. So finding orbs either means the ghost has orbs or that it's a mimic. Mimics always have orbs. So we'll want to be careful when we're looking for spirit box and freezing and such. It is UV. Normal handprint, not Obake. So in theory, those are our two evidences. UV and, uh, what is it saying? Orbs. So it'd be one of these. It could also still be a mimic, like we said. So keeping an eye on mimic. There's our ghost photo. Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Anyway, like I'm saying, mimics are spirit box and freezing. So even though we have two evidences, we have to rule out a spirit box and freezing just to be safe. Oh, you're doing quite a lot of events. How cold is it in here? Not very freezing. So that was two singing ghost events. Assuming it's not a, um, not a mimic. It's a banshee, a hantu, or an obake. Now, singing ghost events are slightly more likely to happen for banshees. Hantus have to be freezing, so it's not a hantu. Obake or Banshee is our, what we're looking at, or Mimic. We still have to roll out the Mimic. Now, in theory, a Banshee can hunt us at any time. In Obake, we want to keep an eye out for its um, behavior. Keep an eye out when it touches doors and stuff. Should have more stuff in. Uh, let's get a. We're gonna listen to it on a. Um, what's it called? A paramic. What else do we need to do with you? Escape. So what we're listening for is a shriek. When um, ghosts have ghosts will do ra at random a sound, a paranormal sound. Another singing ghost event. Just saying. The thing we have to be wary of when we're using... Was that a shriek? I, I couldn't tell. The thing we have to be wary of with... What? I think that was a shriek. I want to hear it again. I need to shut up and listen. Come on, do it again. Come on, ghost. Are you even still here? It's 
still here. So the thing we have to be aware of with a banshee or with any ghost is that when we're using the paramic, it's inclined to hunt us. Um, it might, well no, it's not more inclined to hunt us, but we're less able to hear if it does. Because it mutes our sound. So if the ghost appears behind us, um, we won't have to, we won't have to, we won't have the reaction time. So that was not a shriek. That is a paranormal sound. The ghost has like a, I don't even know what the chance is, but it's like a one third chance to do a um, shriek instead of a paranormal sound. Can't even see it. How's our sanity doing? It feels like we're getting a little close to being hunted. Yeah. I think it was like standing over here. Okay, another not shriek. I think it's not touching the doors very much, unfortunately. That's a shriek. <laughs> so yes, we have a confirmed banshee now. I guess we need to get hunted by it. I think we did get a shriek earlier, I just didn't, uh, didn't hear it right. Because I was talking. So we lost our lights in this room. I'm going to move these crucifixes over here. Where are you? Goodbye. So now we're about 10% sanity. Cue the hunt. being wimpy and hiding. <sighs> so when you're doing this, when you're just waiting for... Okay. No, not yet. Yes. Oh, it started from the kitchen, I think. Ghost! There you are. When you're doing this where you're waiting for the ghost to hunt you, the most dangerous thing is to be um, ghost-evented. 
Like, it can ghost event right to your location, and then hunt a second later, and then you're dead. So, I always try to be at least two rooms away to reduce the chance of that. Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> Good ghost. That was a fun one. Oh, we got the new EMF. Oh, I can't wait to get the new one. Let's, let's do it. You get that early. Like, that must be one of the earlier tier threes. Flashlights first, but... I mean, that's pretty early. How's about an edge field? <clears throat> I usually go in with EMF, Thermo, and then one other item. So, okay, so it doesn't need us to have a camera, so I, I'm going to go in with the, the um, UV. If, it, if there was a camera objective, I'd go with that. Jay Skinner responds to, we're unsure. Or if I did not have this, um, the head up thing, the head the headlamp, I would use a, a flashlight. Jay Skinner. Ghost event, low sanity, parabolic. So, items, hiding spots, etc. Not cards. Not have the breaker is in the garage. I'm gonna check the basement real quick. No, nothing there. A ghost is here. Yep. Okay. We have a basement ghost. I hate basement ghosts. That's fun. Nothing else going on here, though. No items or anything. Hi! So it takes up this entire basement, is the issue. That started on the stairs. Which is so unsafe. Like this is this is a terrible room. <sighs> um, there's not there's no hiding spot on the first floor or in the basement. Okay, we have a Ouija board. Or right, did we have lockers in here? I forget. No. So our only hiding spot is to go upstairs. Okay, we got boys' room right here. And the hallway, maybe? No. This one. Those are some pretty distant hiding spots. Okay. This is a tricky one. Terrible room and distant hiding spots. Where's the bone? And ghost that hunts in the first minute of a of a run. All right. Um, we're at eighty percent. We would have taken ten from the hit. Ninety would be a reasonable amount for the dark we've seen. I think we're fine. So no sanity shenanigans going on. I'm going to bring in um, protection early. So I'm going to hope 
that putting this there is going to cover most of the stairs. Now, this is all one big room. The entire downstairs. It looks like it's two, but it's not. So we have to cut both lights off. Orbs could be in either one. Got a throw over there. And a three is always a throw. A two could be many things, such as opening a door, using an ability, etc. But a three is a throw. A four is always a ghost event. EMF 5. And 5 is a ra anything can be turned into a 5. It's throwing a saw at me. So yeah, any anything can be turned into an EMF 5 at a random chance based on the ghost having EMF 5 evidence. Normal sanity. I'm going to bring in some detection, which won't help us determine what ghost type it is, but might help us locate it. Let's put that there, and this one here. See if it's coming in this area. It is. It's below freezing, okay, so that's our two. It's a gin shade only. Uh, twins. It's not shade because it did a very early ghost event. I believe. Oh. Let me just take a stock for a moment and think about this. So, Jin, Oni, or twins? <clears throat> so, when a Jin hunts, it will do. It'll it'll lunge towards you. If it's um, if the breaker's on, it also will refuse to turn off the breaker. So if we see a breaker turn off, it will. It's not a gin. And it only does ghost events very often, and we already have had a ghost event. It will never do a wisp ghost event. So if we see a, a ball of air that that flies towards you in um, in an event, then it's not an oni. Twins are harder to shake down. The best I can do with twins is say that sometimes there's twin-like behavior, where it throws like a, like a saw several times in a row, rather than just um, rather than having a periodic ghost events where it just like ha not a ghost event, periodic interactions. It'll do repeat interactions. It's doing a lot of interactions, too. So far, I don't have a good idea of what it is. I mean, there's potentially it could be a twins. A twins, I say. But that's how you, that's what it is. Or because of the ghost event, it could be a an Oni. Although it's not, not spamming ghost events on us. Followed me in. It's standing right there. Okay. How did our sanity get so low?
We were not that low in sanity. We were like in the 60s. So a ghost can lower your sanity by flickering the lights, by throwing something in your line of sight, or, well, technically, I think the, the thing has to have line of sight on you, by standing in the dark, which we were not. We were standing in the light. Or by doing a ghost thing on you. I mean, it, it could do a ghost event on you, and that will lower your sanity also. But there's also special ghost activity things it can do. In this case, I, bet, I think we just got ginned. So, I just presented three different things that... Okay. So, the sanity loss makes me think Jin. The ghost events make me think Oni. The playing with the saw a lot makes me think Twins. So far, Jin has my highest count, but... I don't have a good... I don't have a good feeling about it. I think we need to get hunted and take a look. I'm gonna leave that there. This is this feels really dangerous. I'm gonna retrieve this. I'm gonna leave the other one down there. So I'm expecting the lights to go out one more time. Maybe we can hurry this up a little bit. Where is the bone? Ghost! That is a very clear gin. See, it sees you, and then it lunges. It just zooms forward, like almost at like revenant speed. We didn't get parabolic, but that's okay. I'm gonna, I don't want to die. It's a bad room for trying to get parabolic or anything. Jin's one of the, those ghosts where I, I often just get it wrong. And when I do get it right, it's often because I ruled out other ghosts. Rather than actually getting it as Jin. And so I'm actually glad that we got some positive evidence. We actually were, were seeing that lunge. Usually I, I'm bad at recognizing it. So. One more. How is about a Willow Street? We have Tim Huntley, Parabolic Motion Sensor Crucifix. Breezy, clear weather. We have a music box. No hiding spot. Here's our breaker. No hiding spot, no hiding spot, no hiding spot. There's our bone. 
Hiding spot there always, not there. Yeah, not that one. Probably a hiding spot downstairs. So it felt like it was taking a while for my thermo to calibrate. I think we went into the ghost room. I think it's one of the rooms upstairs, one of the one of the center ones. That's a hiding spot. So like the kitchen or this back area here, I'm betting. But I am wrong. Maybe that room on the left? Huh. I am confused. I, I would have I I would have bet. There it is. Okay, I don't know. I'm, I I would have th I thought it was gonna be one of the other rooms, but it wasn't. You're playing with the little doll, the bear. Oh, there you go. EMF five. So convenient. I gotta admit the the tier three um. EMF, that's a good upgrade. Like it does everything the earlier, the other earlier ones do, but better. As opposed to, of course, the thermo, which I still use tier one because it's better, and the UV, which I still use tier one because that's better. Uh, da da da. What am I doing? Look for that. That. And do we need a motion sensor? Yeah, we do. Grab one of those. Uh, did I not turn that light on? Maybe I didn't. I thought I had, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, well, you're quite busy. Doesn't look like you. Does not look. Oh, never mind. There we go. Orbs. So we've got EMF and orbs. The mimic is not EMF, so it's not a mimic. We're looking at a Raichu or an Obaki. It's not an Obaki, it's a Raichu. So turn that off. Turn this off. We're gonna put this here. So we know it's not Nobake because Nobake forces ultraviolet. And this doesn't have it. I don't need to put that there. So there's something I. Okay. I don't know about Raichus because I have felt like Raichus can hunt early, but sometimes I think maybe they can't. Like if you have too much electronic equipment around them, maybe they hunt. I don't know. It's it's never really been clear to me with a Raichu. What do we need to do with you? So a parabolic motion sensor crucifix. The parabolic, of course, counts as a electronic item. Um, the reason, but why? Okay, so I should explain, unless it's obvious. A Raichu moves faster when it's um, within certain radius of a electronic item, such as your EMF reader, the camera, this head, this head display I've got, that motion sensor. It will simply go much faster. Now, once it gets out of that range, it'll slow down again. So, um, but be, having that burst of speed is a thing. That was out here, wasn't it?
Don't do that. Okay, what's with the... Why are you doing ghost event? Why are you touching doors over here? There you go. So it is over there. Now we have to present, prevent it from hunting with a crucifix. That covers the room. This covers the area a little bit outside. So I think I'll, I'd rather, I'd rather, um, rather than going downstairs where there's hiding spots, I'd rather be upstairs with smudge sticks. And, um, yeah. Uh. It's a music box. Stand next to the music box drains our sanity. So it's about to hunt. If we drop the music box, if we throw it, it'll force a cursed hunt. Like that. So that was forced. That was a forced hunt. And the, and the crucifixes are not able to prevent that. God damn it. Forgive my language. I apologize. Now the scary part is he's, he's going to be walking back to his room now. They will be able to prevent a hunt in the future. If it goes back to its room and is in the right spot. We're going to give it a couple... Okay, good. There we go. That did it. That was a that was a hunt. A crucifix hunt. Perfect. I'm gonna take it. It was a fast one, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain too much. You see, this is what I say when you know, um, when we spend like a half hour trying to tease out whether it's a, a Yure or a Gorio. And other times, it's just, you know, it's just, it's very clearly one particular type of ghost, and you can find it, or you can narrow it down to two within, uh, you know, a few minutes. There's all our bones. We'll do one more. A tanglewood. I guess what I'm saying is there's too much variance, too much variance between... The easy to identify ghosts and the hard to identify ghosts. What are we doing? EMF. Okay. Cold weather. I have a suspicion. I don't know if it's true, but I've always suspected that during cold weather. Okay, we have a music box. We have a hiding spot. That cold weather makes it easier for a ghost to achieve um, to achieve freezing temps. Because sometimes ghosts have a lot of trouble getting freezing. Hi. All right. So it hunt. So it. 
It was from right here-ish. Get Ghost of Ended. But it seems hot in here. I could be wrong. I might slowly be going down. Two touches, no UV. Both EMF2. It's hot in the room. It's living room ghost. Yep. Let's look around though, finish up. Hiding spots, all that. No hiding spot here. No breaker. Here's the breaker. No hiding spot. We already know the items in a music way. It is a music box, yes. Another two. We know there's a hiding spot right out the front. And that's that's it, right? We haven't found a second hiding spot. Maybe this one? Or you know that okay yeah both of the the front rooms have hiding spots the nursery and right here okay so if we end up in the back of the house on the other side of the living room we're in trouble we're just gonna have to hide behind the counter and try to loop it around which is not a bad at all situation tango wood is decent for that We've been getting lots of orbs recently. I like that. The ghosts with orbs are not as scary. Interesting. Did you know, change your room? Not orbs this time. I think the ghost might have roamed. It just touched that door twice. Here, put this down. We'll have to check with temps. Um, that was this door, right? Yeah. Okay. That's quite some reach. Considering it was over there a moment ago. Think worth thinking about. Airball ghost event. Non Oni. It's worth running from those because if they hit you, you lose ten percent sanity. Okay. So we've got a cold room right here in the foyer. This is not cold. So it's right here now. Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Writing. So we definitely have writing. How's our sanity doing? We're fine. 73. 
It's maybe a little bit lower than I would have thought, but not that much. I'll bring in one of these just for fun. And we'll look for dots. Kind of weird that both of these areas are closed. Hold. These are separate rooms, I believe. Can't be a Goria. Did it go back over there? Let's get some motion. It's weird that both of those rooms are cold. Dots. So writing in dots is always a fun ghost. It's either a Dio or a Thay. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it should be easy to find out which. It's just you won't know until this the moment before. <laughs> They're both gonna charge straight at you and. Um, be going very fast while doing so. And then the Dio will slow down. The they will just keep keep on going. Okay. Um, our item was the music box, right? I don't need this anymore. I'm just gonna bring it over here so it doesn't start on top of me. My bet's on Dio, actually. I think a Thay would have been more active. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. That sounds so off pitch. <laughs> That's what they do. Hello, ghost, 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 I'm here, go, oh, damn it, I forgot I needed to smudge it.
Well, it'll hunt again. It's obviously not a deer. It's a thing. We probably have, I don't know, it could be zero sanity, it might be in the 20s. Not higher than that. So like I said, the most trouble you are gonna have when you're waiting for the ghost to hunt is if you get ghost it. Give me a thing. Ghost! Ghost! Come here! I'm here! I'm right here! Must be an older they too. I mean, it's fast, but it's it's not not like what I think of as they fast. We must have been like in its room the entire time. All right. Some good runs this time. Like we've had some, we've had some bad luck recently, where we get a bunch of on Rios, <laughs> and it can never identify them. But yeah, we've been doing a good streak this time. Let's our money pull out ahead nicely. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Until next time.